Aloha, everyone, and welcome back to another mini moon day podcast with myself, Alexis of Ascension Diaries. Thank you for joining my patreon.com slash Ascension Diaries blog at any amount in order to keep up with all of the products I am offering to the internet when it comes to space weather, spirituality, and I want to say humanitarian conversation. So thank you again. I'm glad to have you. Glad we all have these things in common. And in this episode, we are going to be addressing the Libra season, Libra new moon energy that's happening today, September 26th, 2022. I'm very excited to get into this episode. So let's begin. This episode is brought to you by the Space Weather Basics class that I'm going to be doing on September 30th at 1 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Please do go to ascensiondiaries.com. On the homepage, you can sign up for that class, get your Zoom call ticket, and you can join me. In this class, I'm going to be explaining to you the tools, basically walking you through actually acquiring the tools that you can check easily on a daily basis, or at least when you're feeling very strange and out of place, and how to interpret what you're seeing so you can see if there is indeed an issue or not, and then where you can go quickly for more support after that. Even if I'm not around, of course, if I'm not around, especially if I'm not around. So please come to that class if you want to be an independent space weather researcher, which is the inkling of knowledge you need to keep up with the greater body of knowledge that I'm going to be touching on over and over with the channel continuing in the future anyways. So thank you for your interest. Thank you for joining my Patreon and I will see you on the 30th. So Libra Sun, Libra New Moon Energy. Who are you? What are you? What do we want to talk about today? Well, I've already recorded this once, so I've already kind of have an idea of what I want to carry forward for you. And I made a few mistakes in there too. So we are just out of Virgo season, but I feel like Libras are also very much, uh, I want to say, particular with how they like to show themselves and how they like to be received as well. So those caretakers of beauty are the Libras. And that Venusian energy is very, very strong. A lot of roses, a lot of imagery of roses, and also of the... uh, Unfortunately, we also have to then talk about there is the dark side of celebrating any of the Venusian holidays, either in the spring or in the fall, because there's this whole other lore, and I'm assuming cult or some sort of religious sort of thing about Venus but not just Venus Jupiter Saturn I'm sure all all of the planets because they are great electromagnetic bodies and they can be called upon and harnessed and I'm curious as somebody who is innocent of those things and I've not engaged or been around that growing up I can just assume that it's happening because there seems to be a lot of power available and people love power but what does Libra love most it's beauty balance and harmony and so we're going to be more so busy on that but to keep that you usually do need to harness quite a bit of power as well as control over your life and over your lifestyle which is another thing that Libras do so very well is they manage their lives very intensely some of the hardest working people I know who mostly nobody even realizes are Libras because they're so finesse and skilled at it and have very high qualities for themselves so if you're finding yourself being extra critical perhaps or processing the emotions of the critical things that have happened to you in the past and how they've kind of warped you and kind of delayed you as a person accept those things know that you put those markers there to be unlocked in moments like now and just keep watching the astrology with me especially the more advanced and other planets other than just the moon cycles which is what I like to focus on in this podcast because it is Monday or moon day 
and it is the feminine moon energy that I'm trying to engage with and I always feel the most on moon days. I do not want to go on camera. I want to be barefoot in a dress talking and musing my my information as a Libra naturally. So you may be wanting to do more of that in this season also is musing some of your information. Jupiter is also the closest it's been since I believe 1963 or something along those lines. I did the math horribly wrong in the last podcast. So that's when I stopped and was like, gotta delete this one. Darn it. I'm not going to do the math this time, but I am going to say that the Jupiter energy did wake me up the other day, just a few days ago. So the peak might've actually been a couple days ago. And I have this feeling about astrology on the side of news and these larger cycles and how I think timing is maybe slightly off sometimes for whatever agendas. I'm not sure. I think it's because it's trying to make all the other math make sense, but there's stuff missing from the math about our solar system and stuff. So there is irregularities. That's what I was told when I was meditating. So check that with yourself, how that feels. But Jupiter itself is so close right now. It is making the news and Jupiter's energy woke me up, was shining into the house only at that time of the night did I make eye contact with it through quite a few obstacles. So it really did pull me. And I looked at it and I was like, wow, this this being is talking to me, you know, this light. Who is it? And so I pull out my app and I check and of course there it's Jupiter. And I was like, wow, that's pretty nifty. You know, Jupiter doesn't often call me. And usually it's Venus, and but sometimes it's Jupiter or Saturn, but often it's Venus, <laughs> and I just know. And uh, also Mars. Mars will give me a few hails once in a while. I've noticed it just depends on the path, and as a medium, I think that just I need to relay this information to you however I can that Jupiter is close. Jupiter and the themes of Jupiter are likely also close and those who worship Jupiter are also likely busy right now with its closeness and all and these are things I don't participate in I just genuinely feel a a warmth and a kinship with Jupiter and to feel its energy that's what it felt like it felt intense and almost magnetic but it felt good and it was just like a oh hi and I was like oh hi nice to see you how funny and how funny you called on me like this. And I just had a nice little moment and it wasn't too much, but now I know it was to really solidify that I felt it and its closeness and engaged it. And I feel lucky. I feel really lucky. And I hope that that's going to be more clarity even by next week. Perhaps I'll have more to tell you about why Jupiter called on me, but I would encourage you also to See what Jupiter's up to. See what vibe you get off of the Jupiter energy as you look up at the sky towards it. And also, I want to hear more about your experiences with your own natal Libra energy. So if you haven't done so yet and you have the ability to, please go to any app. I have one in my link tree. It is called Time passages. It's one word. I have the pro version. I use that for my uh, astrology and it gives me help. (laughs) I also go to sky guide, sky guide to genuinely look physically at what is in the sky above me. It gives me that map. It, it follows with the AR sort of technology that the phones have. And let me know where your placements are if you're so bold because Libras in a way team up and they sort of know about each other is one other thing I know about Libras and we sort of look after each other because there's just some there's some sort of mutual understanding and every sign has that but I find that Libras are honestly taking often taking care of a lot of people they've often taken a lot under their wing and they're constantly working on stuff and they love it and they are very family oriented people and if not family then they're friends and they're constantly trying to create environments where they can be together where they can hang out be at peace and have harmony together so hug your libra 
today if you have the chance and thank them for all the good times that they've been able to curate for your life and for the fashion help that they have probably given you as well as the aesthetic of your home and your vehicles that they've likely made their little touches on. They just can't help it. I know I can't and I will not. That is my Libra. My Libra duty is to sprinkle beauty where I go. That kind of rhymed. That was beautiful. There you go. I did it just then, not even trying. Okay. (laughs) I'm teasing. This episode had another portion that I shared a story about something that happened at the grocery store. And I feel like I still have to tell you this part. So there was a man who walked around the grocery store and he spotted me and I spotted him. He kind of gave me that telepathic, like, I'm trying to connect to you. And I was like, I'm busy grocery shopping with my husband, so thank you, but I'm good, random stranger, as usual. That's my usual response, is like, not really in the mood, but thank you so much. And this person then, I think, walked behind me on purpose and dropped a business card out of their pocket behind me. And I heard it hit the floor as I was looking at my very favorite items in the particular store and I was in my super happy place for a second there and then I watched this character approaching down the hallway and I turned towards the aisle and what I was looking at to kind of ignore him and move let him move past and then he dropped this card and kept walking and I froze I was like oh my gosh what the hell was that and I just paused and felt the energy from this card and all of this like tracer warmth because it was obviously just in his pocket and he just left it he just let left his hand out of his pocket and it fell out and I just paused and froze and I felt like I was in a hundred different sci-fi movies at once and that there was something very weird about that particular business card and that there was absolutely no way I was going to engage with that energetically any more than just a few thoughts and then I telepathically in my mind said I'm not interested in these weird little games you know just (laughs) this is creeping me out so I'm just gonna politely decline and you know you can leave me a written note (laughs) if if I've misinterpreted you or something and you need something let me know basically as I usually do And promptly the day after we go again grocery shopping because we eat all the time. We have many mouths to feed. And someone had dropped a $100 bill in front of Jace instead. And he was so happy he scooped that up real quick in his hand and was so happy to show it to me. And I looked over it and him and I was like, that's just like the business card. You just got duped, but he got you this time. Like he got you, you picked it up, you touched it. And I had the fear in the supermarket that the day before or days before that if I touched this thing, it was like a port key and I was going to be gone like Harry Potter or some other, like I said, some sci-fi I'm watching Stargate. I'm watching, (laughs) I'm watching so many different Anyways, I can't even get into it. I'm I'm just watching whatever you're sending me to watch as well. So I'm getting tons of data. And it all correlates no matter what sci-fi it's from. It all seems to show up right when I need it to. And I get guided to watch the things that I need to see. And I recently was seeing some things about that. So I didn't touch it. And I'm glad that Jace didn't d- disappear and he got a $100 bill out of the blue. I was like, maybe that was his prize. And then today he cracked open an egg for breakfast and two yolks were inside. So I think Buddy is on a lucky spree and maybe Libra season is a lucky season. I feel like it is. I always feel lucky in Libra season. I feel like things are bound to work out and the abundance is here. It feels good. I just feel a warm wholeness inside, especially when October really does start to roll in which we have a few days till, but it's coming. And then we'll be in the 10th month of 2022. And then as my guides have been telling me last few days, the American political theater is about to get kicked back up again. So we've actually just been kind of getting a break, I think, from that. And it's about to take over our lives I think in a way again but probably not the same way 
a lot of things aren't taking over and doing the same thing since 2020 and they kind of began the major operation but don't get me started on that as a libra day with air sun and air moon both libra air there's a lot of talking to be done as well communicate speak make your own podcast download anchor app and start using it super easy you can also use it on your desktop and download those raw files that you're collecting and upload them into other software to make visual videos and so on like I do if you're interested I just encourage you to speak and encourage you to practice do it silly just practice and enjoy I have to keep pushing because like I said there is so much garbage out there that needs to be balanced just put the good stuff you know that people need make the medicine for people and deliver it don't be afraid it's all an illusion (laughs) and the more love you send out there the more that'll come back to you just think about how loving you've been towards me really you know that is a generous loving thing that we're engaging in innocently easily with the use of these tools so I want that for you and gathering your own people and keep the momentum going that's I think that's what all of our core job really can be as light workers is just making more light workers feel the confidence to step into their power because we've been so disempowered. So thank you, Libra Boost. May that wind light your flame high and may you enjoy the rest of Libra season. And I will be seeing you on September 30th for our space weather class. I can't wait. I'm going to enjoy the heck out of it. So see you there. And otherwise, I will see you on another podcast. Bye.